Hey everybody, this is Pastor David Newell, and trust you're having a wonderful week. Um, we, uh, we were out of town this past Sunday, uh, but I tell you what, uh, things were popping on the home front. We had a blast, God moved, it was wonderful. But I'm back in the saddle, I'm, I'm home again. I have a great word for you on Sunday. I want to talk about the process of transformation. I want to read a scripture. Holy Spirit has downloaded some very fresh new revelation to me that I believe will excite you because change is coming. Good, wonderful change is coming. I want to read to you from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 3, one verse. Ah, we got to read maybe one more. But um, I'm going to break in in verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, verse 17 says... Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, here's the key verse. God's always about bringing liberty and freedom to us. But we all, with unveiled face, one of the first things I would say to you is that the Bible, in the previous chapter, talks about how Moses' face was veiled. Moses represented the law, and the Bible says as great as the glory of that time period was, the time period we're in right now is even more glorious, all right? One of the first keys in walking in liberty and change and transformation is you got to get rid of a legalistic mindset. Get that veil off your face. Veil speaks about the law, trying to earn your way, you know, uh, and we could go into that and we probably will, but um, we're living in a time of the grace and faith balance, and so uh, we're, we're going to talk about that Sunday, but Man, we've got some real meat to get into. And then it says, But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord. That's the key. We're going to talk about that. Are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. Notice it says from glory to glory, not from mess to glory. All right. Oh, there's something to be said about that too. But, the thing that uh, I, I want you to see here is this, that we are changed from glory to glory by beholding the glory of the Lord as in a mirror. What does that mean? And how does it work? I know he's, he's speaking about the glory of God on the inside of us. Christ within us, the hope of glory, yeah. But how does the process work? so that we can see the transformation take place. Ah, there's the room. I'm not going to tell you about it, but I'll tell you about it on Sunday. We'll look for you. We're going to have a blast. Holy Spirit's going to move. God's on the throne. We're going to rejoice. We're going to have a wonderful time in the Holy Spirit. Bless you is my prayer.